ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Hey, welcome all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we'll meet a bison and a musk ox. Mm. Now, these are animals that live in a herd. In a herd? Herd of what? Herd of animals. Of course I've heard of animals. <laughs> no, no, Stinky. I mean herd, H-E-R-D, like in a group. Not not herd, like, like hearing. Oh, oh, sure, Jake, whatever you say. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, I'll explain later. Oh, OK. Now, we'll be right back. Right back. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Mm. Today, an animal that almost disappeared. Millions of bison once thundered across the great prairies of North America. Well, what happened? They were hunted until only a few remained. That's awful. Fortunately, that small group of bison is now protected, and each year, more bison are seen roaming the Great Plains. Well, all right, bison. The bison, mm. making a comeback. Another one of those animal stories that'll make you say, <gasps> That's amazing! Now, our first guest is a bison. I wonder if he's heard of animals. <laughs> well, I'm sure he has, because the bison is part of one of the greatest herds that ever roamed the Earth. Ooh. And here he is, from the Great Plains of North America. America. Custer the bison. Well, now, what have we here? That's a fine-looking place, fine oh, indeed. Oh, thank you. And you two must be Jinky and Steak. <laughs> no, that's Stinky and Jake. Whatever. Uh, I've been telling Stinky here about how bison, uh, which are also called buffalo, buffalo, roamed the plains in a herd. You should have been around hundreds of years ago when millions of us roamed those prairies. Millions? Well, some say there were once as many as 60 million bison. Now there are only about 50,000 of us left. Mm. Well, does living in a herd keep you safer? Well, it's supposed to. The theory is that we can watch out for each other, but between you and me, we bison can't see very well. Well, maybe it's that fur in your eyes. No, we just don't have very good eyesight. But we do have a keen sense of smell and marvelous hearing. Uh, from what I've seen so far, it looks like you spend most of your time eating. Well, that's right. And we eat vast amounts of grass, fields and fields of it. And when that grass is gone, we keep moving. We bison are always on the go. So, so bison are migratory. Well, what's migratory? Migratory means that we move from place to place, looking for food. That's what a bison's life is all about. And when you're not eating, what do you do? We sleep and we keep in shape. Gee, living in a herd sounds neat. Yeah. Maybe Jake and I will start our own herd. We will? Of course, every now and then, we like to take mud baths and dust showers. Why would you do that? Well, dust and mud keeps us clean and helps us get rid of pesky fleas and ticks. Oh, oh now, now what are these two bison doing here? Well, it looks to me like they're getting ready to fight each other. Why would they fight? Well, they probably have their eye on the same female bison. So one fella's trying to chase off the other one. Oh, don't worry, Jake. In our herd, we won't allow any fighting. Good. Now, do you bison fight like that very often? No, we're mostly peaceful animals. Besides, fighting's no fun. When two bison fight, they knock heads together, and that can give you a powerful headache. Yeah, but what happens if your herd is threatened by a wolf or other predator? We run away, and believe me, we run a lot faster than that bison's moving. <laughs> I sure hope so. You see, running is a bison's best defense. Nobody, not wolves, nor mountain lions, or anybody else can stand in the way of a herd of stampeding bison. Well, what happens if, if you're trapped and you can't run? Then we circle the wagons, just like in the old west. Well, what happens? Then. Well, let's just say that wolves or any other animals facing a wall of stampeding, snorting bison have got themselves a real mess of trouble. <laughs> Whoa, circling the wagons? We can do that with our herd. I'll stand in the middle and you can stand on outside. Yeah, sure, Stinky. Uh, well, Custer, thanks for coming and telling us all about bison. Yeah, are you sure you don't want to join the Stinky and Jake herd? <laughs> well, maybe some other time, son. But right now, I've got to get back to my own herd. So long now. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Now let's take a look at Bison on Baby Talk. Okay, could be a tough day, so I'm gonna start out nice and easy. Just get the tail going first, 
Yeah, now I'm gonna blink the eyes. Blink. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna stretch my ears out, get them nice and stretched. Now I'm gonna just shake my whole head out. Yeah, okay, that's it, I'm up. Okay, I feel good. Duh, walking nice and loose next to my mother. Yep. Hey, hey Bob, what are we gonna do today? Is it gonna be really tough, huh? <laughs> I think we'll just eat some grass. Eat grass, okay, all right, that's good. I'm Bob warmed up, I'm ready to eat grass. Watch me just, watch me just uh, sit down here and uh, I'll eat grass then. But Stinky, a polar bear and a skunk do not a herd make. Why not? Well, because we need more than two animals to be a herd. Well, then we'll get more. And you know what we're going to do then? What? We're going to party. Yeah, Papa. Don't be late. Don't hang back when the party's starting. Mama, don't you wait. Come in your party hot. Whoa, 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 brother. Time to jive. Time to jitter to a boogie beat. And sister, snake's alive. Time to stop your feet. Some stuff in the midnight light We're gonna party Saturday night Dance in the pale moonlight Whoa, daytime Do some stuff Dance like crazy till you're falling down And nighttime That's enough That's when we rock around Party Saturday night Start some stuff in the midnight light We're gonna party Saturday night Dance in the pale Stinky, what other animal would join our herd? Well, gee, I don't know. Someone will come along. Well, hi, you Stinky and Jake. Hi. Oh, hi, Tizzy. You want to join our herd? Herd of what? Herd of animals. Don't be silly. Of course I've heard of animals. Oh, oh Tizzy, you know what he means. Sure I do. Thanks, Stinky, but I already belong to a beehive. Hmm. And anyway, it's time for today's quiz. Here it is. Sam, the question is... Which one of these animals does not live in a herd? The wildebeest, the gazelle, or the tiger? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. So you see, Stinky, a colony of bees is like a herd. Heard of what, Jake? Heard of bees. Of course I've heard of bees. <laughs> <laughs> so which of these animals does not live in a herd? Well, it's not us, is it, Jake? Uh-oh. -uh. That's not exactly the answer I was looking for, Stinky. So here it comes. And the answer is the tiger. The gazelle and wildebeest both live in herds. Here's a herd of gazelles. Have you heard of gazelles? They live in Africa, and they live in herds of from five to 100 gazelles. There are many advantages to living in a herd. For one thing, members of the herd look out for each other. While some gazelles eat, others keep watch. Many pairs of eyes are better than one. If you live in a herd, you can spend more time eating if you know that others are watching out for dangerous cheetahs. This gazelle is all dressed up, keeping watch while his friends eat. Another advantage to living in a herd is that if you are chased by a lion, you have a good chance of getting away. When a lion or a cheetah sees so many gazelles running, she doesn't know which one to chase. If you're a young, healthy gazelle, you will probably get away. Baby gazelles and gazelles that are sick or very old are the most likely to get caught. Wildebeests also live in herds. Huge herds, sometimes with thousands of other wildebeests. They are almost constantly on the move, looking for food. Like the gazelle, traveling in a herd means the wildebeest is less likely to be caught by a lion or a cheetah. Believe it! Well, Stinky, Tizzy's got her own beehive, so she won't be able to join our herd. Hmm. Gee, who else could be in it? Hey, why don't we ask Eve St. LaRoche? Great idea! Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> bonjour, bonjour, all you little species and subspecies out there. It is I, Eve Stanger Roach. And today, Hi, I, Eve. Eve. Bonjour, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Hi, Eve. We want to know if you'll join our herd. Herd of what? Herd of animals. Don't be silly. Of course I've heard of animals. Oh, Eve, mm. no. A, a herd is a group of animals. Yeah. Oh, then I can cook for everyone. I would love to join this herd. Wait here. I just need to get a few cooking supplies. Oh, you Ooh. won't regret this, Eve. Well, we might after we've tasted his cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, you little stinker. Oh, st stinky was just kidding, Eve. I have everything we need to cook for the herd. Look! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Join us whenever you're ready, Eve. Yeah, you know where to find us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, well, as they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get tender as... Yeah. Uh, are you okay, Eve? Never better, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Eve will be joining our herd a little later. Right. In the meantime, let's find out more about living in herds from our next guest. Mm. From the Arctic Circle, Circle, here's Monica the Musk Ox. Uh, hey, the bison was right. This is not a bad looking place. Uh, I should have dressed better. Oh, no. Oh, uh, welcome, Monica. Yeah, hi, Monica. Do you live in a herd? No. I live in a trailer park. What? I'm kidding! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> of course I live in a herd. Doesn't everybody? Well, no. Some animals live all alone. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. I couldn't live without my herd. Well, let me show you. Oh, oh you brought tape? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. there we are. Jane. I'm along the Arctic Circle. Oh, oh. You can find musk ox in Alaska, Canada, all the way over to Greenland. Oh, wow, yeah, you certainly have a shaggy coat. I'm proud to say that musk oxen have just about the densest fur of any animal in the world, and we need every bit of it. Otherwise, we just couldn't live so far north. Oh, listen, <laughs> I know it gets cold in the Arctic. Yeah, yeah. But why is it so important for a musk ox to live in herds? Well, Stinky, uh, it's like that bison was saying. By living in a herd, animals can watch out for each other and protect the herd from wolves and other predators. Now, do, do you circle the wagons like the bison? Oh, uh, something like that. We put the young calves in the middle of the group and form a circle or, or semicircle around them. We may look clumsy, but we're very sure-footed on the ice and snow. We're related to goats, you know. And everybody knows how sure-footed goats are. <laughs> now, d d does living in a herd help a lot in the winter? Oh, just take a look at us in winter. <laughs> See, way up on that hill? Oh, you mean those ants up uh, there? Those aren't ants, Stinky. Take a closer look. Those are musk oxen. Oh, yeah. Oh, when it's winter in the Arctic, a, a musk ox needs all the warmth it can get, even with our thick coat of fur. Chilly, chilly. Mm. I see. So, so what the herd does is, is huddle together, yeah. staying close to each other, sharing each other's body heat, mm -hmm. and blocking out the wind. That That's remarkable. You really know your musk ox, Jake. Well, we polar bears know our cold. Uh -huh. the, the other advantage musk oxen have is that our fur is waterproof. So even with all that snow and ice, we can stay dry even when it's not very warm. And in the Arctic, it's never very warm in winter. Mm. <laughs> well, how many musk oxen are in your herd? Oh, uh, there's usually around a hundred of us. Well, yeah. now, with all those musk oxen together, are there ever any fights? Well, now you mention it. Uh, some of us do like to knock heads now and again. See? Whoa! Oh. I tried that once with a bison, and it really hurt. Now, are those two fighting over a female musk ox? Well, they might be. Or they might be trying to let each other know who controls this territory. Oh. Well, gee, there's plenty of space there. A anyway, it's good practice for defending the herd if there's a wolf or some real threat. You see, like these two young ones, see how well they jump around on the rocks without falling, knocking heads and jumping on the rocks. That's musk ox exercise. Ooh. <laughs> well, we don't have to jump on rocks and hit heads in our herd, do oh, we, Jake? Of course not, Stinky. <laughs> hey, hey, Monica, Jake and I are starting our own herd. Would oh. you like to join? Oh, well, thanks, Stinky, but I got my own herd, and, and I'd better get back to it. Uh, just as soon as you sing a song. Oh, how about the musk ox song? Oh, mm. perfecto. <laughs> oh, thanks. And now here's Monica with... The musk ox saw. About my coat, I could tell a tale. I didn't come across it in an antique sale. 
water in the gutter or laying in the street, it's only got one function. And for that, it can't be beat. It keeps me warm in the winter snow, but keeps me warm when it starts to blow. The latest style, it may not be, but that old north wind ain't bothering me. Now if I lived beneath the sun, a coat like this wouldn't be the one. It's not the rage in gay Paris, but that old north wind ain't bothering me. About my coat, I would just conclude. It's easy to make fun, but someone's very shrewd. They've given me a coat, and it's all I'd ever ask. I'm perfectly adapted for a perfect task. Ah, you may laugh, but I'm warm. <laughs> Great song, Monica. Yeah. Any time, boys. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, Jake, so far it's me, you, and Eve. Mm. Who else can we get to join our herd? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Uh, hey, Bunny. Bunny. Bunny, how would you and Armstrong like to join our herd? Herd of what? Here we go again. Uh, Bunny, we're talking about a herd of animals. Oh, I'm really, really good at joining a herd. Oh, oh great. I'll ask Armstrong if he wants to join. Oh. Yeah, good. Oh, oh, oh but Bunny, uh, do it after. Animal Awards! Uh, Whoa! Yeah. Uh, animal Awards. <laughs> Armstrong, mm. Armstrong, Stinky and Jake are starting their own herd. Herd of what? Herd of animals. Well, don't be silly. Of course I've heard of animals. Uh, we better talk about this later. Right. right now, it's time for Animal Awards. Mm -hmm. Which of these animals has the thickest fur? Is it the skunk? Mmm, the yak? Or could it be the polar bear? Oh, I, I bet it's gonna be Stinky or Jake, because the skunk or the polar bear definitely have the thickest fur, that's true. And the winner of the Animal Award for the thickest fur is the yak. And it needs thick fur because it lives higher up than any other mammal. 20,000 feet. Well, I was close. Gee, I wonder if Armstrong will join our herd. Hmm. Hey, Armstrong, what do you think? You want to join our herd? Nah, I'd rather hear a story. A story? Ah, and today's story is about an animal called the llama. The oh. llama. Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a herd of llamas. Now, each llama thought that he or she knew the best way to eat grass. Baxter, the black and white llama, preferred the rip and tug method. Rip, tug, rip, tug. While his friend Winnie, the white llama, liked to take dainty little bites. Dolly, the long-haired llama, felt it was best to walk between mouthfuls. She nibbled and then took a few steps and then nibbled again. And Bessie, the brown and white llama, preferred to stay in one place. She loved eating more than anything else. Her motto was, eat it while it's there. And that's exactly what she did. As for Lucy, the littlest llama, she wasn't hungry. So instead of eating, she took a nice long walk. And she lived happily ever after. The end. Nice story, Cousin Jakey. Oh, yeah, it was all right. Yeah. You know, Jake, I've decided that you can be the official storyteller of our herd. Well, thank you, Stinky. Uh, you can be the official uh, skunk of our herd. Cool. You can be the official polar bear. Oh, and you can make the official smell. And you can be the official icebreaker. Uh, and you can be the official toaster. Oh, come on, Armstrongy Wongy. You'll be really, really good at being in a herd. Armstrongy Wongy. Look, look, for the last time, Bunny, I am not joining a herd. Oh. Chicken hawks do not live in herds. Neither do bears, well, but I'm joining, and you know why? Why? Because there will be lots of friends to stampede across the plains with. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm really, really good at stampeding. Wanna see? Not particularly, no, I don't think... Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, 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 it's habitat time. Quick, uh, Armstrong, oh. let's get through the door to anywhere. Okay, okay. Let's stand oh. feet together. Okay. Oh. 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 Wait, wait, what are you doing? Oh. We're in the European Arctic. Uh, take me back. It's freezing out here. If we were hurt, we could huddle together to keep warm. Yeah, yeah but we're not in a hurt, so leave me alone, huh? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's my cousin Judy, the polar bear. She's cousin Jake's little sister. She's coming out of the snow hole that she dug to keep warm. Well, it looks like she had company in that hole. Uh, those are her cubs, Danny and Nikki. Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, cold, isn't it? You're okay, because you got nice, warm coats. Uh, oh, oh, I know what that is. That's a, um, uh... Arctic fox. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's digging a hole to keep warm, too, huh? No, he's digging for food. Oh, well, save me a bite. I'm starving. Oh! Hey, let's hope he's not hungry. Hey, what's a tiger doing in the Arctic, anyway? That's a Siberian tiger. Uh -huh. Biggest of all tigers. It's got a really, really thick coat to keep it warm in this weather. Hmm. And it's really, really good at being beautiful. Yeah, and it's really, really good at being scary, too. I sure hope this guy doesn't live in herds. Tigers don't live in herds. They like being on their own. Oh, good. One scary tiger is enough. The Siberian tiger is very rare. <sighs> Humans hunted them until there are almost none left. Yeah, well, then uh, maybe we do need more tigers, huh? What was that? Wolves. Did you say wolves? Look. Wolves hunted packs of up to 12 or more. They're really, really good at it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm afraid of. You don't suppose these wolves might be looking for something to eat? Probably. It's winter here, and there's not a whole lot of food around. And what may I ask the wolves eat? Oh, just about anything they can find, but, but mostly birds and mammals. Birds and mammals? Uh-huh. But, Bunny, I'm a bird, uh -huh. and you're a mammal. If I agree to join your head, can we get out of here? For once, I'm with you, Armstrong. Yeah. Oh, woo. that was a close one. We were almost wolf meat. Whoa, for habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And I'm showing the chicken hook. Just back from the European Arctic. And ready to join our herd. Herd of what? A herd of animals. Of course I heard animals. <laughs> I always fall for that one. <laughs> hey, you guys. Mm. How's your herd coming along? Oh. New members all the time. Whoa. In fact, I hope everyone out there is going to join in. Okay, gang? <laughs> How about a quiz for you and your herd? We're ready. Here it comes. And the question for today's second quiz is, which one of these animals is a bison calf? This one, this one, or this one? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Does anyone out there know which one of those animals was a bison calf? Uh, hey, here comes Tizzy. Let's see if you're right. Ready for the answer? The whole herd is ready. <laughs> then here it comes. And the answer is this one. This is the bison calf, and it's beautiful. Thanks for the quiz, Tizzy. Oh, and here comes the rest of our herd. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to join the herd, uh, you know, face safety and numbers and all that. Yeah, yeah welcome yeah. aboard, Armstrong. Well, Thanks. Well, before our herd starts herding around, I want to thank those herd experts, today's special guests, Custer the bison and Monica the musk ox. Oh, goodbye, Jake. Goodbye, Slinky. Until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Yeah. And remember, uh, all of you out there are part of our herd. Uh, so let's stampede together. Yeah. Uh, I'm right, not everybody? Sure